In May 2020, I sold or gave away 90% of everything I owned and put the rest in storage. I bought a new car and dyed my hair purple and took off into a new chapter in my life. Who's ready for a road trip? This girl is. Check this out. My cousin came in for my Aunt Pam's funeral and she literally sold everything, bought a brand new car and has been traveling the world doing Uber so she could see everything in the world. Check out her bed. So he made it where it's hinged. So then now everything's right there. And then oh, move your pillow. Back. Oh, oh that's a cool bed. Nice. Nice. Now, wait, wait till you see so let me ask you something though. What? Um... Okay, anybody else? Because I don't want to do this like I know, I just want Hi guys. So I want to show you my car. Well, I'm showing you in stages. I am so happy right now. My dad worked on my bed yesterday and installation. So I am ecstatic. Let me show you what he did and then I will show you what I'm going to do on my next step. So I'm so excited. Look at this. Okay. So, he did this big wooden thing, okay? That is literally my platform that I knew I was going to get. Me and him sat down and did some ideas and stuff. He already had an idea. I already had an idea, and we just put it together. So, because my seat is all the way forward when I sleep, because I have to, otherwise, I, you know, my head won't be there. So, he decided to go ahead and put a hinge here. So, it's like that during the night uh, during the day whenever I don't need it right so it's actually gonna be really 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 good because I needed that um I gotta figure something out with the rest of the stuff but still even if it only comes up to here because of my pillow and everything it still be out of the way you see what I'm getting at you'll see what I'm talking about when I get to the pillow part but I think this is freaking awesome okay so my feet go all the way down here right and I wanted a little bit because of the blanket. So he did that. And of course he cut the corners and stuff like that. So then it won't rub against my seats and stuff, right? So I'm super freaking excited about this. Okay. And then he insulated my trunk. All right. Because I get cold at whenever it's like 40 below or what, something like that. I mean, not 40 below, but 40 degrees. So he insulated this. This is stuff that he uses in a house. So it's, that's going to look really good. There's there's some up here as well, but it just fell. So I got to get him to put it back on. But it's okay. But it's going to change the way I. It's going to change the way I actually sleep, <laughs> especially because now winter's coming in, and me going up to the fall. I mean Vermont into the fall right now. It's going to get cold up there in the more in the at night just like it was in the desert so i was used to that already but i know i get cold and everything and, and that's going to help a lot but the bed i'm so excited for i cannot wait i'm going to go ahead and put my foam and everything back on there and go ahead and lay on it make sure everything's good i want to make sure everything's good before i tweak it a little bit whatever before i leave so but i'm so excited my dad rocks i, I knew he'd be the person to actually do this for me and 
do the project that I was envisioning already too. So between the two of us, we got it. So I'm gonna go and put my stuff on there and I'll show you in a minute. Bye. Hi guys. <laughs> I am super freaking excited about this right now. Oh my gosh. So my dad got the bed down done a couple days ago and it rained all day yesterday so I couldn't even finish what I wanted on my end. So I did it this morning. It's nice and breezy and pretty for Florida. Oh my God. Anyway, so I did my bed half, okay? Which originally I wanted to, um, here, I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I got the, the foam and my sheet and everything and I folded it and all that stuff. I mean, now it's, I just did it. My original thought was I was gonna sew it together, but not this time. I don't have the time. I don't have the resources. But it still works because basically what I did was I folded it. I put the half of it on the bottom and in between. Basically made a sandwich, okay? <laughs> so that's what I did. And now look at it. I am so freaking happy right now. So, and then at night, I'll move my pillow, of course, right? Move that. And he has the hinge there, right? I know this is hard to show you. I'm trying to do. And then that's it. So I keep everything on one side. Oh, that actually works. Okay. And then I can put my seat back. Because you see all my seat is forward. I can't drive like that. But that's okay. So that's what I do. And in the next video, I will show you how I'm sleeping in it. Okay, so my dad got my bed done. I did the other part. This is how I get in, okay? Every night. Show at the end and everything. Hello! <laughs> Alright, come over here again. Come over here. Because you're going to see my hips over here. Alright, see the space that I have very little of? Thank goodness I'm short. This is how I turned over and stuff like that. Okay. Look at me. All right. So this is very comfortable, believe it or not. And I now I feel like a queen now that I have the platform. You guys have seen the, the boxes at the feet. That was not really comfortable, but this is. And I've got, you can't see on this end, but I've got about three inches of foam right here. And this is what I lay on along with the board. So I can't wait to actually try it out. I'm going to take a nap later. <laughs> also i forgot to show you my dad did this insulation this is house insulation no heat no cold can get in or out okay so he got set above my trunk here and below see it this one came down yesterday so he velcro this shit look at this it's not coming out Okay, it's not coming down. He velcroed the other one too, but this one already fell, so we needed to work that out. But that's gonna help me tremendously in the winter because it's gonna hold in my heat and it would be a lot easier. These are my window shades, which you guys already seen, I think. I'll put them up and put and show you. But I didn't change those out. I was going to, I just didn't have the time or the the resources this time, I will do it next time I come down. It'll be a lot easier. And I'll probably redo my bed as well. My bed's fine. Not nothing wrong with it. But I need new foam because the foam is all cut up and it's just not good. So <laughs> I'm dealing with it. So that's that's my bed. That is what I'm excited about. I have been waiting two months for as soon as I redid I mean as soon as I made shift this bed back in uh, Oregon when I was with my friend's house I knew the moment I was done I was like nope this is not gonna work temporary everything is but my dad was gonna help me he had the tools he had the resources I knew that and when I told him in Glacier was showed him how I was sleeping and stuff and what my ideas was and how I did it he already came up with his own so between the two we actually did really good he did he did pretty much 98% of it <laughs> I only did the little part. <laughs> I'm just so freaking happy. Thank you, Dad. I love you. <laughs> so, there's my bed. The queen. Now I feel like a queen. <laughs> Bye.
Hi guys, how you doing? I know, long time no see, right? Other than a few things popped up and everything, I haven't had a day, time to do an update. Last two weeks have been a freaking whirlwind between being at home and at home. <laughs> so, Tennessee and Florida homes. Anyway, um, this one is gonna be dedicated to Aunt Margie. Five minutes or less, listen to me. <laughs> All right, so what I did, as you can see with pictures and stuff, um, I ended up working at Domino's for a couple quick shifts. Um, I'm gonna be doing that again when I come back in November. So I can, um, it's my birthday week, but it's also voting. It's important, go vote. And um, so I'm gonna be doing that and probably hanging around Tennessee for a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I, I'm trying not to go too far ahead. But yeah, I got to see who I could see. Um, unfortunately, it was a few days, only like five, and I had to work in between that. The same here in Florida. I didn't get to see everybody I wanted to see. Um, the other side of the family that I was so happy to see, I got to spend some time with certain cousins and a niece that I really don't get to see much. Um, and they're very much big supporters of mine, so I'm very happy. and. I was just enjoying the time. And I got to see my granddaughter. <laughs> I got my bed taken care of. Oh my God, I cannot wait. That video will be coming up soon. I already edited it. Um, and then when I was at home in Sparta, of course, I got to see Burgess. I'm gonna be doing that video as well. And I'm like, I'm just so excited. I got to see a lot of stuff, a lot of people. And just, you know, I just, I loved it. I miss being home. I really do both homes mostly Sparta right now because you know Burgess is there my daughter's there I just I miss it you know I felt like oh my god so I definitely want to do come back soon um, but anyway so right now where I'm heading I'm heading towards Vermont um, to see the fall um, I'm trying to get up there before peak I got to work in between I'm not gonna stay anywhere more than longer than like two or three days probably depending on where I'm at but that's it so speaking of, Aunt Margie, you should be done with that cigarette right about now. It's less than five minutes. Mwah. I love you. <laughs> and I guess I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever that will be. And keep on shining. I love you guys. After traveling around beautiful America the last few months, these are some of my favorite moments. to see a lot more adventures with me in the future please like share comment and subscribe and as always I love you and keep on shining a dream is coming true it has come true don't give up on your dreams guys